Melt Cosmetics recently hinted that they were coming out with some new things for Halloween, which kind of makes sense. Like Halloween is their jam. So quite a few people have been excited to see what the story is, but it's all been revealed now. I took this picture from Makeup on Your Radar, but most of the rest of the pictures that I'm talking about come from the fabulous Point Click Vibes. So a massive thank you to both of their accounts. They do all the hard work so that I don't have to. Let's discuss. It became pretty clear early on that they were doing a Universal Monsters collection. So not unlike when Smashbox did this about a year ago, I'm not wildly surprised. I think that was so, so smart of them because that was a really big collection from Smashbox. And I feel like Melt Cosmetics are a little bit more into this general aesthetic than Smashbox ever was. So there's quite a few things in this. There isn't an exact date for the drop of these, but I do have prices on some of these. So for example, the Bride of Frankenstein eye palette is $49. The She's Alive setting powder is $39. The Damned Mascara is $24. The Thirst for Blood Liquid Lipstick is $21. The Horror and Terror Lip Gloss is $21. The Creature from the Black Lagoon eye palette, which seems to be a four pan palette, is $39. The Handheld Mirror is $25. The Poison Waters Lip Gloss is $21. The Black Lagoon Face Gloss loss is $25 and there's a really cute little backpack for $45 but you can get the full collection which doesn't include the backpack strangely enough for $250. As per usual, I feel like Melt have kind of nailed it in terms of the actual packaging. It's so cool, really, really interesting. I just feel like they do that exceptionally well. As for the actual contents of stuff, some of it I'm like really interested in and then other things I'm like, eh, I'm not so sure about. So I had previously brought up Smashbox, right? And Smashbox had done a collection a year ago or maybe two years ago, which was the Universal Monsters. And I believe it was like lipsticks at the time. But there's something about this eyeshadow palette. Maybe it's the long pans, but that is giving me Smashbox. Is it just me? It just really makes me think of that. Now, I like some of the individual colors in this, but there's nothing that's like wildly interesting to me. I feel like it's a very safe color story. Nothing bad or wrong with that quite safe and I do feel like $49 for 10 shades that's expensive for me what I feel they should have come out with was more of maybe their like eyeliners eye gels because they do those exceptionally well for me that's their best products and this is the setting powder so obviously packaging really really cute I'm not so sure about what the story is with that shade who's that meant to suit is that literally for the Bride of Frankenstein, what's going on there? Like, I mean, fair enough if that's the case. I feel like a setting powder can be a little bit of a dodgy one to come out with. I'm assuming they're going to do it in lots of different like colours because that would be really weird and really exclusionary if they didn't. Or maybe that's just me, unless they went with like a universal shade. But what is actually a universal shade? I want to talk about that backpack. How friggin' cute is that? $45? fabulous really really cute that alone i'm really interested in and here you can see the mascara which i don't know about you i'm personally not that wild on mascara i don't get very excited about it but there's also these liquid lipsticks again i feel like melts liquid lipsticks are some of their stronger components why not lead with that like come out with some really interesting colors what I will say about this mascara is it's not like a standard mascara it's not your here's your black it's actually a red mascara so for me I'm like okay I, I'm kind of interested in this it's $24 so it is a little bit pricey but you know what I don't hate it and I mean that looks really really cool on let's let's be real I don't hate that I am a bit worried though if I ended up loving that would I be able to get that again is this going to be limited edition however they did that before with the Beetlejuice do you remember the Beetlejuice Supernatural mascara and that was like limited edition and then they brought it back because people were like we really like this so maybe there might be room to bring this back. I'm, I'm for it. I'm for some interesting colours of mascara. But my goodness, the liquid lipstick. I'm sorry, I'm basic. I love a red lipstick. And this, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. $21. That's not bad. And of course, they've done some really cute promotional pictures. I'm wondering, is that the actual liquid lipstick or is it the gloss? Because there's also a lip gloss, which I'm interested to see more of. And this is the section which is all about the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I'm a bit confused as to why the eyeshadow palette is $39. Like, it's massive pans, but like, I don't know. Not wildly interesting to me. Maybe the swatches will be different. I don't know. Like, the packaging, 10 out of 10, really, really cute. 
there's something about it though again 39 dollars. i just couldn't justify that for four shades and they look like they're primarily matte maybe that green in the bottom left hand corner is a little bit shimmery hard to tell from this angle so do not take what i'm saying as gospel i could be talking out with my rather sizable arse hard to tell but the packaging fantastic they've obviously put a lot of thought into that and the actual color story i don't hate it i actually see where it comes from it's very very linked to the actual creature so they're taking the inspiration and putting it together very very well it's just i think it's the price that gets me if this was like 24 dollars, then i'd be like yes well done this is great but 39 dollars just feels a bit steep to me this is the Poison Waters lip gloss and that's retailing for $21. I really want to see what that looks like on. Is there like a green tint on that? Because that could be super, super interesting. Could really neutralize a very pink lip and make it more brownie. I like it. I like anything green. I can't help it. It's a condition. It seems like any time they do a handheld mirror, it's always like a circular shape. They had this when it came to the Beetlejuice collection. It was the same sort of thing. It's nothing wild, nothing major. I like the sort of decoration on the mirror itself but I'd probably get a bit distracted by it. But I'm blind and struggle a bit with mirrors. That is my cross to bear. But I have to say I'm kind of intrigued by this idea of the Black Lagoon face gloss. Like we've just seen the packaging, so I've no idea exactly what it is, but like I have the intrigue. I want to know what's going on. Is it maybe a greeny toned highlighter? In which case, sign me up. I don't need it, but I am intrigued. I mean, it's a pretty extensive collection. There's a lot in this. Do I think that everything is equal in terms of its amazingness? Mm, not really. Personally, for me, whenever I look at Melt Cosmetics, I feel, don't come for me, like their eyeshadows are a little bit overpriced for what they are. I don't love their formulas. I'm And this is coming from somebody who owns a lot of Melt stuff. I feel they missed a trick. They didn't come out with any like eyeliners, any of those interesting things, because by the way, they're eyeliners. If you've not tried them, oh, amazing they're really really good like the pots the pots of eyeliners just just trust me get some of those they could have done some really interesting ones like can you imagine a creature from the black lagoon have it be like a black base and sort of like a greeny shimmer do you can't tell me that that would not have been interesting i'm confused about the setting powder i'm going to reserve judgment see what the story is do they have it in different shades backpack amazing loving the liquid lipsticks i kind of feel they could have done a little bit more with that though don't get me wrong, love a red lipstick, but a green one would have been so cool. And if you're going to do it limited edition, why not? Just do it. Do a really cool, interesting green lip, like a really dark green lip. Oh, that would have been really, really cool. It's fine. It's fine. I feel like people are going to get more excited about this than probably is warranted. It'll do well because this is like a very well-loved IP and generally Melt do these things well. I don't feel like there's anything here that I'm like, absolutely dead over a need to get maybe maybe my love for makeup has gone no it hasn't I st I'm still obsessed but yeah just on this particular launch there's nothing that necessarily wildly appeals to me but let me know down below what you guys think are you interested in this are there stuff here that you feel is maybe a bit overpriced maybe maybe you disagree and are like no this is very reasonable when you consider things like copywriting in which case totally fine Let's just be civil to each other. But let me know what you guys think down below because I'm nosy and I just want to generate some discussion.